welcome to Benevolent Plum Tarot. My name is Jess. Uh, for this reading, I'm going to be looking at what blessings or manifestations are coming in for you. And we're going to look at what challenges there may be blocking those blessings and what you can do to overcome them. And maybe a couple oracle cards. Um, definitely want to get one of these affirmation cards. Maybe one of these um, or a couple of these blessings cards before I close it out. So yeah, gonna be a pick a card. I'll list all the cards I use in the description below along with the timestamps. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we have three groups as usual. Group one held up by the green zebra. Group two held up by the red hippo. And group three held up by the yellow elephant. Check in with your intuition. Um, you can go by the animal, the color, the number. Um, whatever draws you to it first, uh, I suggest trusting that very first quick intuition because that is usually the correct one, right before you start thinking about it too much. <laughs> it's a subtle, quick uh, energy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I will see you at your chosen group. Hi group one, welcome to your reading. So I'm actually starting your reading out with one of my all time favorite decks, the Modern Witch Tarot. So this is gonna be the first reading I do with this deck. I've actually had this deck before, but I had to uh, repurchase because I wore the other one out. So first reading for this deck, starting with you group one. Oh, this like brand new deck, the cards are so smooth. <laughs> compared to all my other decks. All right, so what blessings or manifestations, what good things are coming in for group one? What's on the way in? What's on the way in? I'm gonna start with three cards here. Oh yeah, I wanna say four actually, four cards here. There we go. Okay, choices. Balance, karma, all right. Ooh, the chariot here. King of Pentacles, beautiful. All right, so first thing I'm just getting um, here, we have choices. You're gonna have uh, multiple options, multiple opportunities coming in for you. Um, I feel like there's some karmic energy closing out for you. So uh, maybe a cycle coming to close, and I feel like you're choosing this actually um, because we have the chariot moving forward with confidence, uh, a victory coming in, and then ending with this king of pentacles. It's like um, this king here is sitting on this throne. This king has everything that he needs, and this can be any gender, by the way. Um, this king has everything that he needs. He's got um, his needs met so it's like he's comfortable and this king is so comfortable that he's in a position to be genuine or generous with um, I almost thought I say genuine <laughs> so um, I feel like that's important too with that confidence um, being very genuine with yourself here and we'll come back to that but being very generous um, with time, with money, with whatever resources that you are coming into. It's like you're gonna have plenty of it. It may be emotional, it may be monetary, it may be food, it may be again time. Um, it may be knowledge, something that you have a lot of knowledge about. And so it's like, you'll be, you'll be in a position to be able to share that knowledge, that time, um, that money, that food, uh, whatever it is, you have enough to give and be generous. So beautiful energy there. That is, I'm, you know what, I feel like that's the best feeling in the world to have your needs met and have enough that you can give freely, you know, like to be able to just um, give to somebody and, and change somebody else's world or um, even just, you know, change their energy. Even if it's just for the moment, that energy carries on throughout, um, like that butterfly effect, you know, put a smile on somebody's face and you've put a smile on a hundred people's faces for the day, if that makes sense. That energy carries on and you're in the position to, to do that. So I love that. Now, coming back to this two of wands is justice here. Um, oh, by the way, you could be an earth sign, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Cancer. Um, you could be a Libra uh, or or know one of those signs, but you know, don't have to be. So um, I feel like you're choosing to 
overcome something. You're choosing to close out some karma. Um, I, I want to say in the next month or, you know, within the next month, I feel like this energy is happening for you. Um, you know, and I feel like it has a lot to do with your confidence. So I feel like if you've been holding on to past energy, something, energy that that has been given to you that doesn't belong to you. So it may have been words that were said. It may have been actions that were took taken for some it's a, a an aban an abandonment energy so it's like some things have happened to you or been said to you um over the years that you had taken on as your own but it's not yours and you're choosing to let it go you're choosing to let go of whatever this past energy is it's gonna like um, bring you into much more balance. It's going to open up much more opportunity because you're going to be filled with confidence, understanding, enough confidence to be truly, truly genuine with who you are. I almost feel like it's like been things that have been said to you have kind of like one little block at a time have kind of closed out parts of your personality of parts of, of who you are. You, you know, it's like you hide little parts of yourself. And so I almost feel like some of this, you don't even really recognize fully. And it's like taking a little bit of the time to, you know, look and see what parts of you are you hiding um, from other people, maybe in social situations or maybe family, friends, um, and maybe even just from yourself. What parts of you um, do you keep kind of hidden away? What little elements do you not want to show or share? Um, what, you know, even has shadow aspects, even shadow aspects of yourself may be pushed really far down. And it's like these things, being allowing these things to come to the surface, allowing who you truly are to shine through. Um, and the way you do that, again, is giving yourself the permission to be confident in who you are is going to be what brings in more opportunities, what brings in the right people, what brings in um, the right career path or, you know, schooling or whatever it is. It helps to put you in alignment with what your real needs are, what your real passions are, because you're putting out who you truly are. So it's like if you really love, this is just a really, really simple example if you really love to knit, but maybe, you know, in the past, friends have said, oh, that's for like old old ladies or something, which is absolutely not true. And you know, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, have you ever gone on Etsy and seen some of these amazing <laughs> shirts, clothes, like cute stuffed animals, hats? Uh, unbelievable, right? Um, I would really like to learn how to knit. <laughs> but um, for example, you really love to knit, um, but people have told you that that's for old ladies. Um, it's like, totally not true. And even if it was true, who cares? You know, what's wrong with old ladies? <laughs> but it's like you have felt, sh um, you know, ashamed of that. You felt like that's not cool. So maybe I'm going to hide this little element in myself when really, if you start showcasing that, if you start showcasing that, hey, I, I do love to knit and actually I'm going to put energy into it. And I'm actually going to make some really cool stuff, like a really cool halter top. And I'm going to start selling it for 40 bucks because it takes time and creativity and it's a beautiful piece of art. Um, or or more, you know, whatever it's worth. Um, and then you start making uh, resources because you're doing something that you love because you start putting out what you really love to do instead of hiding it. So that's one small example. Um, you know, shout out in the comments if you're actually someone who does do that, who loves to knit. <laughs> um, I, I think it's so cool. I just like, you know, I love some of the pieces that I've seen over the years. But um, yeah, it's like by being that genuine, true to yourself uh, person, you bring in the opportunities to become this king of pentacles, sitting on this throne, having everything you need. Um, you know, resources are coming easily to you and you're comfortable and you're happy and you're full, you know. Uh, so, yeah, beautiful energy, beautiful blessings here. And again, it comes back to choosing to let go of something that I feel is blocking, you know, your confidence, real true confidence here. Um, you know, it's not so much ego. It's really being confident with who you are and being able to show that to the world. All right. So what's blocking, uh, what might now might be blocking this choice or holding you back. I'm going to go ahead and pull this deck. What might be holding group one back from this beautiful karmic, uh, cycle coming to close, choosing to, um, take this path this genuine true to self path, this victory. Um, ooh, I love that. That rang right when I said victory. Uh, fantastic. Um, what might be blocking this for group one? Okay, Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, 
Three of Wands, the world. Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting nice. I love this for you, Group One. I'm feeling. Ooh, this is this is good. Um, I want to get some Oracle cards, but these cards speak for themselves right now. Okay, so it, what it is is I feel like you may already be pretty much in tune with what it is that you love to do or what you'd like to do with your life. And if not, that's okay. It's going to be coming in. That's part of this confidence. You're going to be figuring some more things out. Um, by kind of choosing to go with something. You know what I want to say for for those of you, I feel like somebody might be kind of not sure of what direction, might have multiple directions and you're just not sure what fits or what you should do. It might even be about going to school, like what direction in school should you take, what education or um, what should you learn? And I want to say it doesn't matter if, you know, just go for something because you will figure it out. It's like go for something and not allow yourself to be stagnant with indecision because you can always change your mind. And if you do change your mind down the road and you want to choose a different path, well, you've gained some skills from whatever it is that you were putting your energy into. So it's perfectly fine. Um, choose a path, you know, just choose something to put your energy into and the rest will unfold. Um, just don't be stagnant. And I feel like that's part of the blessing coming in is that you are um, choosing a direction. Um, you know, so the blessing may be that you're figuring out your direction. You may already know what direction you want to go to. And for some, you've already been putting energy into this because what I see here is the, the it's coming. It's coming, baby. I'm telling you. It's like <laughs> when the Nine of Cups here, you have fulfillment coming in. Um, the world, you have this expansion coming in. Whatever it is you're putting your energy into is coming with the Ace of Wands. That's why I feel like some of you have already been putting energy into this. Um, so the only block that I see is a possibility of feeling impatient. And that's absolutely normal. I mean, that's totally, when you're excited about something and you see that end goal, it's like you want it now. It's like, I want that goal. The fact of the matter is the journey is part of reaching this goal. It's like that this journey is part of bringing you this fulfillment, these experiences along the way, the learning, the ups and downs, even the um, perceived failures are what's bringing you to this wish fulfillment, this expansion, um, traveling. I feel like this is going to bring about traveling for some. It's going to be bringing about more opportunities, um, exposure, uh, you know, more people seeing what you're doing and, and recognizing the talents that you're putting out there. Um, so really, truly, such positive energy here for the challenges and the blocks. It's unbelievable. It's like there's nothing really usually blocking you except for the possibility that you could maybe your energy could wax and wane because it's taking time. So maybe you even feel like the possibility of this never coming in, um, you know, may discourage you. But that's literally the challenge is possibly being discouraged by having to allow this to unfold, by the journey having to be taking place. So it's like fully trusting in the, uh, the outcome will be coming. I think I spit, sorry. The outcome is coming. I mean, like the, the end goal is coming, but the blessing is the whole journey. So by recognizing that, um, you know, you're on this path and there's there's experiences and lessons along the way that are so valuable to you that just help increase your talents um, and having the patience to know that, uh, you know, the end point isn't the whole point. You know, the goal isn't the whole point. The, the journey is a huge part of that point. And, and that it is indeed coming. If you continue, then it's coming. It's like your wishes are coming. Your goal will be fulfilled. You're going to do it. You're going to make it. There's no way that you won't, um, you know, won't, there's no way that you won't make it to this end goal if you keep moving forward. That It's like guaranteed. It's guaranteed if you keep putting energy into it, you're going to reach your goal. And to start this all out, I kind of went backwards a little bit. Ace of Wands. I mean, beautiful, creative energy, um, the energy of motivation. Um, you know, you know that what you're doing is going to serve you and going to serve the world. So keep that energy, keep putting out there. If you need to rest, then take rest. Um, there's nothing wrong with taking downtime when you're moving towards a goal. Um, it's, it's like slow and steady wins the race. That's such a, it's such a cliche saying, but it's so true. It's like just... But you know what? It's not that true. It's not steady. Nothing's really linear, straight here to there. Nothing's really like one pace the whole way. So it's not necessarily steady, slow and steady. Um, in fact, I'd argue it's not steady at all. It's 
chunks of, okay, go, go, go. And then chunks of, oh God, I need a rest or I get sick or, um, you know, or there, you're sidetracked. There's another passion or something that you're putting a little more energy into. Maybe you want to play tennis for a while. Maybe you want to, you know, not knit, but work with clay. Or I mean, I don't know why I'm just on like that type of art, but um, it's like there are small paths along the way. That's part of the journey. It's not a linear thing. Um, slow and steady wins the race just means if you keep moving towards your goals, you'll reach them. Um, it's guaranteed, but it's not going to be one pace. It's not going to be one pace, and that's okay. Allow it to unfold, and with divine timing, just um, keep that trust and keep, you know, putting energy into something. Recognize when your downtime is and when you're putting energy into it. I think it's important to give yourself downtime so that you have kind of almost a structured downtime in a way. It's like you know that you are allowed downtime. You know you need rest, so you take it with no guilt. It's like, I need a weekend off or I need a whole couple weeks off. I'm tired. I feel spent. I feel drained. I don't feel creative. Take the time to go camping or get in nature and just rest, watch some funny videos. Take that time with no guilt, but kind of know when that time is and know when to start in again so that you're not kind of stuck in that in-between, like I should do something, but I don't feel like it. And then that in-between can drag on and on. So it's like, take your rest time, take your break time, and then, you know, know when you're moving forward again. I feel like that's, those are the blocks. The blocks are keep moving forward. Um, not a lot of blocks here. I love it. Okay, let's get some messages. I feel like, let me get one more. What's the, what's the likely outcome? Like what, what else can we know? A message from the universe. Maybe let's get a message from the universe. The fact is it's all from the universe, I feel, so, but I kind of like just to see what comes up here, so. I'm loving this group one. I feel like there's such a beautiful energy here. Um, I feel like there could be set, there are setbacks. For, for, there's going to be setbacks, and I feel like that's part, don't get discouraged by the setbacks. Know that setbacks happen. Sometimes they're meant to ha to give you a rest. Sometimes they're meant to shift the timing. It doesn't matter. Just trust that setbacks happen and trust there's a reason for them. Um, and sometimes it's meant to push you in a different direction entirely. Um, I feel like, you know, there's going to be a lot of signs if that's the case. Um, I'm not getting it here for this. The direct, different direction entirely I'm not getting, but I do know that you have choices and multiple opportunities along the way. So um, it's beautiful. Just have that trust and just know that whatever decisions you're making as long as you're putting energy into what you want to do the outcome is is good you're going to reach your goals all right let's get three of these peace compassion the moon, imagination, perception, nine of pentacles, or yes, that's nine of acorns, actually. So this is that fire. This is that um, perseverance, power. All right, so what we have here, this is the message from the universe. We have trust in your intuition here with the moon. Um, there's that, dis that element of could have some discouragement. If things seem like they might have slow times or might you might feel, have doubts, feel like this might not be coming in, um, don't allow yourself to be um, discouraged or shrouded with doubts. Keep a clear vision. Um, understand that there's setbacks, there's ups and downs. We know that. And because we know that and accept it, you can still keep a clear vision and not let doubts start shrouding the path, you know, um, because it this is saying don't let doubts and shadows, um, you know, discourage your clear vision here. And also imagination, perception. Keep a good perspective on the, on the whole story here. Um, don't get tunnel vision. You know, tunnel vision can somewhat can be good to serve motivation when you're trying to get something done. But I feel like that tunnel vision, it should come in chunks um, because you need to take time for other things, family, friends, experiences. Um, but this is like having the perspective to, to and intuition to know what's appropriate for you and for your life and for your family and friends. Um, the imagination here is, um, you know, this, you know, the sky is not the limit. Beyond the sky is the limit. There's no limits. It's like have the imagination. Give yourself permission to visualize big. Think big. Um, you know, like you can, you know, don't. It's your imagination. Don't <laughs> cap it here and there. It's like um, by thinking big, it, it expands the opportunities. Um, so it's like broad perspective and broad imagination, broad visualization. Think big. Um, and then here, Queen of 
queen of shells. So that is the queen of cups here. Um, you could be a water sign or dealing with a water sign in your life. Um, that would be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but of course you don't have to be. Um, this is peace, compassion. So I feel like, again, this is staying centered, staying balanced, and having compassion, not having that tunnel vision so much that it like crowds out the experiences with family, emotions, and other things, and um, other passions. And then again, then the nine of acorns here is perseverance, continue to move forward. Don't get discouraged. Um, take breaks when you need them, but always remember that there's a plan to, you know, know what your next steps will be. Um, you don't have to have it all planned out. You don't, but just kind of know what your next steps are going to be. If you don't know, then that's okay to take a couple, you know, take a couple of days or take a break, whatever suits you is appropriate for you and to plan it out. Say my next steps are going to be, um, you know, getting you know, accepted at this school. So what's the next steps there? Then that means reaching out to them, seeing what they need from me, getting a counselor there, an advisor, um, you know, seeing what documents need to be sent over. It's like, what are the next steps? And take it one chunk at a time. I find paperwork and things like that to be very overwhelming. I like to be creative. I don't like to think about, <laughs> I mean, not that that wouldn't be creative, but it's like thinking about things that have to be done, like paperwork, phone calls, emails, and things like that can be very overwhelming. So if you're like that as well, I feel like with this perseverance, it's like, just take it one chunk at a time. Yes, you want to get to the school, you have an end goal, you want to graduate with this degree, um, but it's so overwhelming that you could be stagnant and not even start. Well, what's the first thing to do is just to reach out and call the school's advisor and say, hey, what steps would I need to take to start going to school here? They'll help you. Well, first you need to get your transcripts from this high school or from this other college or whatever it is. Um, okay, Okay, then call that school or, you know, and say, how do I get my transcripts? So it's sort of like one bite at a time and, and, and that will really help you reach your end goal. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Don't feel like the goal is so far out of reach that you can't do it. It's within reach. It's just one step at a time. Okay. Persevere and power here. So you have the power within you to um, do anything that you set your mind to. You've heard it a million times, <laughs> but it's true. You can do anything that you put your mind to. Um, it's whatever you want. You know, you want to turn your knitting into a business, do it. You have the power, you have the creativity, you have the wherewithal, you have everything that you need. And if you don't have what you need, you have a way to get it. So that's your reading group one. I actually want to get you a couple. That's the message, but let's grab a couple of Oracle cards here for you before. Um, okay, I want to get a couple of these, just a couple of energies that might be serving group one on their path. I really love this energy for you. I mean, seriously, it's like success guaranteed. Do the thing, the thing will pay off. Do the thing, it's going to bless your life. So beautiful. Wish fulfillment here, expansion here, travel, whatever. Uh, energy that you put into is giving back. I absolutely, it's my favorite energy. Uh, okay, it's like manifestations, wishes granted, right? Because you know that it's, you know that it's yours and you know that what's yours won't be withheld for you. And so you feel confident in, in moving towards it and doing, taking the actions. Let's get, uh, let's see discernment you are able to develop the skills to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion that's this moon here the moon card telling you that you know to have the perspective you have the discernment here to know um you know what doubts are real and what energy is false there's going to be times where you feel like uh, you know there's times when you feel like oh i can't do this or i'm not able to have this this person is very good this person is very talented and, and so of course they deserve to have those accolades or whatever they're doing but it's not really for, like feeling like it's not for you feeling like you're outside the realm of of attaining these dreams um that's not true that's fears and illusion that's you know you are able to know that when those doubts show up that it's just not truth it's just it's just that yucky little buggy in there that comes out of us and says, you can't have that, you can't do that, you're not good enough. And of course, you have the discernment and you're keeping that energy of discernment with you to know, um, to be able to know the difference between truth and illusion, uh, love and fear. And you know what you do when that happens, when you see a doubt or when you hear that inner voice telling you that you're not good enough for this or this isn't going to happen, just tell it to fuck off. <laughs> just say, no, I'm not hearing that. I don't care. I don't care if I just had a setback. I don't care if my car just got impounded or, or I can't, you know, fix the 
tires or I can't afford the this right now. Um, you're going to find a way to like still move forward in some way. You're not going to drive to the school anymore. Fine. You're going to, you know, get a ride or you're going to start doing it from home, you know, on a computer, whatever, you know, I know everyone's going to have different, ex you know, different resources available to them, but I'm just saying you are not going to allow any setbacks to tell you you can't do something or any doubts to tell you you can't do something um, and turn it into love. Tell yourself, no, I completely deserve this. I am worthy of this and I have the power to continue. I have, you know, everything that I need to reach these goals or to do, do the thing, whatever it is. Let's get one more of these. Acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Love it. This is being able to have complete trust in the divine timing in the journey. You can't control the journey. All you can do is take your, you know, take steps for yourself, your own actions. Um, and of course, there's going to be setbacks and it's going to change your actions. You're going to have to change plans. You're going to have to um, adjust, adapt, but you can do that and you can accept that adaptation happens. Um, change happens and you are able to accept when these things happen. Um, you can't control anyone else around you. You can accept that. Um, you know, is this person going to be a part of my life? Is this person going to help me? Is this person going to do this? You can't make them do anything. You can always ask. And, you know, whatever you receive back from this person, you say, okay, and you change your plans accordingly. Um, you know, you accept whatever it is. You release control. You don't really have control of situations, but you do have um, your end goal, and you're moving towards that in divine timing because you trust the universe's timing. Um, you don't have control over timing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you accept it, and you're moving forward. And by doing that, it brings you a lot more peace. It's like, you know what, I can't control this, I'm letting go of this, and I'm only going to control what I have, what I can do, my actions, how I'm feeling and reacting, and by doing that, it takes so much pressure off of you, and it's much less overwhelming by, you know, recognizing what's yours and what's not yours, right? Okay, let's move forward. Um, okay, I just want to get one of these. Do I want an Art of Manifestation card? I feel like this reading is going a little bit long, and I still have more groups to do. Um, let's just get one art manifestation card, and then I'll do one of my little affirmation cards, and then we'll close it out for you, group one. I'm really excited about this. It's beautiful. Beautiful energy here for you. I mean, absolutely. I didn't like the way that cut anything. What does group one need to hear right now. Giving and receiving. Give and take is different to giving and receiving. Taking and receiving are not the same. When we take, whoever we take from may or may not have chosen to give. However, when we receive choice and respect or an in integral part of that exchange, let go of any need to take and embrace the harmony of giving and receiving. And that really brings me back to this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is able to give and, <laughs> and receive graciously. So um, it, it makes me almost want to come back to the fact, if you need help with something, if you need to ask somebody for help, being able to ask and being able to accept that, you know, whatever the answer may be. Um, but don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. And if you have the resources to give help, time, uh, money, resources, food, whatever it is, again, where this King of Pentacles sits, um, then please do if you're asked or if you see a need somewhere, you know. Um, beautiful energy here of giving and receiving. All right, I love it. Okay. Here we go. One last card, my affirmations card. This is um, a silly deck. They get, they're written quite in a silly way, but they're still beautiful messages. I actually really love them, so. All right, message for group one. Beauty. Absolutely. This is about your self-worth here. Beauty. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. I'm beautiful and I don't even care if you know it. I'm beautiful, which is why I don't have to try so hard all the time to show it. So, all right. Love this card. And 
Oh, I love it. I'm beautiful even when I don't think it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. So it's really recognizing, it's letting go of those self-doubts, stepping into that place of confidence and acceptance of who you are. You know, your, your genuine true self is beautiful and totally worthy of love, success, understanding. You are totally worthy. And so this is just a beautiful affirmation for you to remember that you are beautiful, you are worthy. So please don't forget it, especially during those times where you really don't think it and you really don't see it and you really don't feel it that's the time to remind yourself until you believe it again or even if you don't believe it you know um just tell yourself something something nice every day you don't have to believe it you know it's just like just just that doing it is doing yourself a favor because eventually it's going to think back in and you're going to remember you're not just going to believe it but you're going to remember it's true i'm beautiful i'm worthy all right i love that for you group one i'm going to end it there thank you so much for joining me um if you liked it please hit the like button that's very helpful to me um that's it i love you bye Welcome to your reading. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull four cards, see what blessings or manifestations are coming in for you. And we're starting with my new deck, which I've already had before, but I just re-upped it as this is the first time I've used it since opening it, aside from like clearing it. Uh, I used it for group one too, but this this pick a card reading. All right, three of pentacles. Interesting. Okay, let's get three more cards for group two. Okay, we have Empress. Oh my gosh, and the star. Woo! All right, one more. One more card for group two. Blessings, manifestations. What's coming in? Anything else? All right, I think. Well, I feel like these three cards are the strongest. Okay. All right, there's three cards are the strongest, and then we have this hanged, this hanged man card. Um, okay, starting out with this three of pentacles here, um, blessings coming in. So it's like more opportunities for, I, I feel like resources, money, um, could be work, it could be projects with other people, and this could be like school as well, but I'm feeling like, you know, with this empress here, it's like, sitting here in your abundance so it's like having your needs met um kind of similar to group one actually in the, um a very earthy like abundant energy so um but this is also sitting in a place where like you know that you're abundant um also i feel like recognizing your own like natural beauty um doesn't matter what gender you are um just kind of like the energy that you're putting out into the world just knowing that like you have something to offer um not just your looks but it's like your mind your humor um feeling very centered in yourself um a lot of confidence similar again to group one with the confidence now it is a little bit different um because yes, this this is confidence here, but it's like opportunities because of your confidence. Um, it's like the sky is the limit here, which fulfillment here. So I feel like there's multiple things going on, like multiple wishes coming in. So um, for multiple for like multiple different people, I also feel like with this hanged person that you also have like a gift, a blessing of contemplation. So it's like you're gonna have this space to kind of mull things over so like there's no like big rush to pick decisions or to move in any direction and i also feel like you have like support of people around you um i feel like the biggest blessing at all is being recognized 
um, for the gifts that you do have. I feel like part of that is recognizing your own gifts and what you can share with others. Um, it's interesting because I, I also still get the physical part of it where it's like really acknowledging your own beauty as well. So it's like, I don't want to just stick to like the physical, but um, there's very much this element here of like stepping into um, being so alluring or like just knowing that you are um, gorgeous, you know, again, any gender here, um, like knowing that you are like, people can like look at you and just feel drawn to you, know that you're very, very attractive, um, a very warm energy around you. So it's sort of like this energy of like, yes, confidence. And that's where it's similar, but it's, it's a little bit more than that because it's being able to share that energy with others. So I feel like that confidence turn, kind of translates into warmth, into like friends, into like touching others' lives, into being somebody that people want to be around. So it's not so much like, you know, sometimes when we can, when we can kind of be in this energy where we're in a very, in a very attractive space, you know, things are going good for us. Um, we're glowing. We have, we're putting out like a vibe and it's like, Sometimes people can be kind of jealous of that or a little bit envious of that, which is okay. That's a normal emotion to have. Um, and often we're that way of others. Um, we just don't want to get stuck in that emotion, right? But I'm not even feeling that. I feel like it's a warmth. Like it's an energy that's very inviting. So you're in a very beautiful, alluring energy and it's inviting. It's not in, you know, it's not inciting jealousy. It's inviting people to want to be around you. So I feel like good humor is a part of that and kindness is a part of that. So it's sort of like stepping into a position where you can be um, warm and kind and know that uh, people are receptive to that. All right, beautiful. And then I want to get some more cards before I move, you know what, before I move on to like challenges and blocks because I feel like there's a little bit more to come from this here. I want to look at this a little bit more. Working well with others, being heard, um, beautiful blessings here, being heard, being, being heard, being recognized. And the other thing is, this is an interesting um, energy. It's like not having to speak over people. It's like people wanting to hear what you have to say. What a beautiful blessing that is to have. Um, you have something to contribute. And I feel like in the past, there may have been times where you had to like speak o over people or speak fast to like get in there. Um, and this is an energy here coming in where it's like you can almost sit back and let people like give you the space. It's like you know that you have something worth giving and it's like you don't have to sit there and like push it in. Like, does that make sense? Like you don't have to like try and put your two cents in, in between other people, I guess, or speak over people. It's like people actually want to hear what you have to say because you're in a position of um, power. You're in a position of, of confidence, security. You're in a position of knowledge and you have something to share. And it's like people will wait for you to think about what you want to say almost. It's like you have the, <laughs> the space to be able to like sit back, think about it, and then speak your mind. Um, whereas maybe in the past you've had to like answer very quickly just to get a chance to answer or to speak very quickly without giving a lot of thought because they'll miss your chance and people won't give you more space to speak. Um, that must be pretty specific to some people because uh, that is very specific. But I uh, but that energy is very real. It's very much of uh, energy of like, it's not commanding the room. But it's in a way, it's like your confidence and your energy. Um, c people are almost like leaning in to hear you and you don't have to lean towards them to be heard. So what a powerful energy to be, you know, to be bringing in. Uh, I'm going to pull just a couple more cards if there's anything else to that. I didn't like the way that cut, sorry. The Lovers, the Page of Wands, Seven of Swords. Ooh, all right. And here's the element here. Okay, 
So you are able to speak the truth with, you know, your genuine true thoughts and feelings. You're not having to sugarcoat it. You're not having to change what you're saying. You're, you're not having to um, put up a mask because your true genuine self and what you truly have to say is what people truly want to hear. And you're going to be heard. This is an energy of being heard, not having to yell, over, you know, not having to yell. People wanting to hear what you have to say because you are someone who has things worthy of hearing. Um, the lovers as well. So I feel like also with the lovers, it's like <sighs> the lovers is often a choice. And I do feel like you're having opportunities and you're having choices come in. I feel like you have the space to think about choices before you take them. Um, so that's important. I feel like you'll know what choices you want to take. And it's important that you, you, you know, trust your genuine true desires. Don't second guess your choices. Think about it and what's really going to bring you the most happiness and fulfillment. Um, I feel like you know, doing what you think is the right thing to do. Now, if it's an if it's an ethical dilemma, then obviously be you know act with ethics, right? Um, you know, act with moral you know standards. But I don't feel like it's an ethical dilemma so much as like you have a couple opportunities or a you know a choice of direction here. Um, and for some, it may even just be like, are you coming? Even just like a invitation of sorts. Um, but you are blessed with this energy of like confidence of you know this this worthiness um this beautiful beautiful energy and it's like you are able to mull it over take your time before you decide and you're going to follow your desires and your we you know what's going to make you happy not what you think you should do not what other people think you should do and so that's a really beautiful energy because that really has to be you know, a powerful position. It's hard to do things that you, you know, follow your dreams or your passions when it's like somebody's telling you, no, this is the right thing to do. This is the logical thing to do. Um, so it's like you're in a position where you can, you know, pick and decide for yourself. Other people aren't telling you what to do, or if they are, you know in your heart what you want to do or what's best for you. And so you're going to do it despite that. Um, so that is a position of power. That is, you know, personal power that is granted to you in you know, this energy of a blessing to you. So being able to speak your truth, speak your mind, um, you know, choose what you want to say, choose what actions you want to take, choose your direction. Uh, what a beautiful, powerful blessing coming in for you. I want to go ahead and see what could be blocking that because it's such a, like this empress. I mean, look at this empress. And again, this card with the star to me is saying the, you know, there are no limits. It's like there are no limits. You have endless personal power. You are, um, you have endless personal potential. All right. So the potential for you, it, there's no bounds. And so it's like by knowing that is just a powerful knowledge to have. Like by being able to truly recognize um, that you yourself, there's no limitations. You know, a lot of uh, the limitations we give to ourselves. Um, or, you know, people in our lives, our families or things are using, you know, coming from love and coming from logic often, um, setting limitations for us. They don't intentionally necessarily want to have you feeling limited. In fact, a lot of times people are say you can do anything you put your mind to. And that is true. But it's this energy of feeling like um, it's, you know, putting limitations on yourself. We most often uh, have limiting beliefs about what we can and can't do. Um, what we're capable of and so it's like you are recognizing that you are capable of anything like you truly are empowered to do anything that you want and that you don't have to rush your decisions in what directions you want to take all right let's see what the challenges could be okay ten of cups the star again ten of swords okay there's the, so we have like such similar energy here. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Star, the Knight of Swords, and then the Ten of Swords. So there may be more to be learned. And so it's like by, um, it, I feel like allowing your, you know, you are able to learn more information. There's different avenues to do that. So I feel like you have more to learn on your journey um, to this empowered place, but you are already empowered. Like stepping into that position of knowing that you have no limits 
and that what stands between you and what your goals are, whatever it is that you want to achieve in the world or what you want to be in this world, um, most of those limits are self-imposed. And so it's a little bit of a learning process to end those self-limiting beliefs. So what I'm getting here is that the challenges are from within. I mean, the challenges here are like you really recognizing that, you know, you are a being with unlimited potential here. We have the star again. Um, we even have wish fulfillment energy here on the board for you. But there's like, you really have to break down those self-limiting beliefs. And it really seems to take some work. So I feel like they're going to keep coming, creeping back in, creeping back in. So it's going to be, the challenge here is recognizing it when they're creeping in, when the self-doubts are creeping in, and being able to um, cut them off, you know, being able to change that, transmute that energy into some po something positive for yourself. Um, you know, I, I don't know how to read very quickly. So this is just an example. It has nothing really to do with anything, but, um, you know, say you don't know how to read very quickly. You read slowly. Um, and so you feel like that's a weakness. But maybe you read slowly because you are analyzing every word because you are able to remember every word and, and piece together this whole picture in your mind, um, this whole story and plot in your mind. And you're not really someone who skims through it. You're absorbing it. And so really it's a strength because a lot of people just rush through and they think they're super fast readers, but really they're not retaining a lot of that. So it's like finding your strengths um, within your own perceived weaknesses here. And I feel like that's going to really help. It's like, what doubt creeps in? What are you telling yourself you can't do? And then saying, you know what? I can do it. I do it like this and it works well, or I can make it work well for me. Um, so yeah, it's transmuting self-doubts, transmuting limiting factors and, and self-beliefs here. Um, that's your challenge. And you can totally uh, you can have success at changing these challenges, you know, overcoming these challenges here. We have wish fulfillment. We have the Ten of Cups here. This is ultimate fulfillment here for you. Um, so it's like you can have fulfillment on every level, which is often this position of the Empress. She's comfortable. She has everything she needs. And she has, you know, the family. She has the, the emotional uh, fulfillment. She has the financial fulfillment. And she's able to just, like, relax and enjoy this abundance and have so much gratitude. And so it's like having gratitude now is really going to help propel this energy forward, help to grow this energy. Um, and I have to, I'm going to say again, it's very similar to group one. You might even want to watch it if you didn't pick it um, or not, because it's, it's got a lot of very similar energy. And I feel like for many of us, it's because this energy is so big right now. Um, this is a timeless reading, but as I'm filming it, we're going into September um, and there's going to be a lot of overcoming um, self-limiting beliefs in September anyway. September is going to be a lot of um, looking back at things that may be affecting your present now that happened in your past, things that might be holding you back now. So maybe old relationships, um, maybe things that were told to you or actions that were taken that made you believe that you had these limitations, that made you believe that maybe you couldn't do what other people can do. Um, you know, it's like you are overcoming these and we are collectively um, in the energy of being able to overcome some of this old karmic, um, yuck yuck from the past so it's like being you know that these readings are very similar I feel like the energy is still very very valid for you and group one um, and for many other people as well because it's so powerful it's being you know not everyone's going to be able to do this not everybody's going to be able to overcome a lot of these past cycles and um, energy that's holding us back but the energy is so ripe in September to do so um, and if you are you know coming across this reading after September that's okay this energy still applies to your situation now that's why you've come across it all right so let's go ahead and move on I want to get a few more cards because I want to see what else okay so we're overcoming self-limiting beliefs I mean that's the major thing and it's like being in this position of um you know, attractive on every level, funny, easy speaking, like the way you speak is beautiful, eloquent. It's like ha having this beautiful energy is th what's coming into you, but really to be able to sit very comfortably on this throne, <laughs> um, you have to acknowledge your own self-limiting beliefs and abolish them, like cut them out. Uh, and that takes some work. It's not so easy as saying, no, I don't believe that anymore. It literally takes a little bit of time and effort. And that's why we're here taking your time, uh, you know, taking your time to think about it, to 
um, allow these things to be processed, allow emotions from the past to be processed, allow emotions about limiting beliefs to be processed, you know, looking at the reason why you feel or believe that. And then by recognizing where it's stemming from, you're better able to kind of heal that energy or heal whatever that limiting belief is. Um, and then, of course, by healing those, those limiting beliefs, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Empress energy, you know, beautiful. All right, what else can we learn here for group two? The high priestess. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. The magician. Heck yes. Okay. What else can we learn? This is your choice. What, you know, this energy here, it's available to you. You can step into this personal power. You will, this is going to be energy that stays with you forever. Um, we're gonna, you know, definitely we're human beings on a journey and we have ups and downs for sure, no matter what. But take this time, this energy that's coming in, there's gonna be opportunities for you coming in. Um, you know, these opportunities are presenting to you self-limiting beliefs. So when it's presented to you, it's gonna be uncomfortable. It may be in the form of saying, you know, somebody saying something to you that kind of triggers an insecurity in you. What they're saying may be very, very small, you know, or it may be something that they didn't say. Maybe you, you know, were hoping that somebody would compliment you on something you said or did, or, um, you know, even how maybe you were looking this day and they didn't do it. Well, it may trigger an insecurity. Is it because they're, you know, they're doing something wrong? No, it's an, it's an insecurity in you that was put there by somebody else. It doesn't belong to you. And so you're going to like be able to take that opportunity and choose what you do with it. Now you have the knowledge now to say, hey, I know that these opportunities are coming in. It's going to be uncomfortable. And when I'm feeling triggered and upset about something, you're going to look within. You're going to say, why am I feeling this way? Was it because I felt unacknowledged as a child when I did things that I was very proud of? Or, you know, it could be anything, but you're going to take the time to just sort through it. And then you're going to tell yourself, I'm letting this energy go. I'm healing this part of me because I know that I am beautiful. I know that I am capable. I know that my freaking outfit looks amazing today, even if no one else told me so. <laughs> like, right? So it's like um, this energy of being able to heal each opportunity as it's presented because they're going to be presented and it will be a choice. The, what would be the other choice of that in that scenario? You turning around and saying, why don't you, you know, why didn't you say anything about this? Or, you know, it's kind of like putting it on this other person when instead it should be putting it inward and seeing where it's coming from. Now, if you are in a situation where somebody said or did something that was inappropriate or was truly rude or was truly, in, you know, not okay, then of course you should speak your mind and, and have your boundaries and, and speak your needs. So I'm not saying that you're not speaking your needs. I'm talking about, about the insecurities and being able to discern what, what it is when you're triggered that way because you have these opportunities that might be uncomfortable coming in but the purpose is for you to choose to transmute them choose to heal them so that you can step into this position of the empress this ten of cups this high priestess you are the magician and so this magician is here to remind you that you have every tool necessary right now you have every tool necessary within you right now to heal those you know inner limiting beliefs right now you have it you can do it um you have everything you need right now to be the empress right now and then this energy can just simply grow the empress is the energy of gratitude for the abundance you have right now. And because of that gratitude, because you're recognizing um, the beauty that's in your life now, that's within you, then that energy just grows and grows and it starts to reflect, you know, in your natural world. You know, in your earthly 3D world, that energy starts to reflect as you attain more and more. So, um, and then we have this high priestess here, of course, um, that knowledge, that rising up, that out overcoming those, you know, closing out those, those old lessons, closing out those karmic cycles, closing out um, some of those self-limiting beliefs and being in this position of understanding, of awareness. And the thing about the high priestess is she knows so much. She's fully connected to this divine wisdom, but she doesn't talk about it. Um, she doesn't really say a whole lot. And because of that, when she has something to say, 
people lean in to hear it. And so that's the message. I'm getting goosebumps because this is you. This is you having, you know, the wisdom, having, you know, the energy, people wanting to know what you think, people wanting to know what you have to say. Um, and so that's the blessing. That's what's coming in. And this is how to overcome the challenges. So uh, wonderful. I hope that you found that helpful. I'm going to go ahead and grab you some Oracle cards before I close it out. Let's go ahead and get this. I'm gonna get a couple of these. Gorgeous energy for you, group two. I, I'm, I'm really like uh, excited for you and group one. Like <laughs> so similar, but different too. So I, I really love it. All right. Acceptance. Ah! Okay, I have to say group one got that as well. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So I feel like I may have had like a few pretty strong, energetic people watching um, that, that did choose both. But I also, again, feel like this message is very valid for those of you who chose just group one or chose just group two. Um, accepting that which you cannot change is the message here, be it people, be it situations. Um, and I feel like also the past, so it's like the things that happen in the past, you cannot change them. But even though you can't change the past, I still feel like it's a good practice to sometimes rewrite endings for yourself. So if there's something that was said to you that's particularly painful, um, that kind of took your power away. So maybe a situation when you were young that took your power. Maybe someone somehow... Um, violated your you know personal space or hurt your feelings or just took your personal power didn't let you speak when you had an opinion um and you remember it as a painful memory and um you know maybe it's vague but you just remember that you felt empowered so i feel like it's a good practice to sit there put yourself back in that position of that little kid and kind of rewrite the ending what would you have said and just say it. Say it as you're as that child, but you're speaking it now. But say it as that little child inside, and in a way, it's sort of empowering that little child again, um, which is you, <laughs> which is that child within you. And by empowering yourself, then you're empowering yourself now because those wounds tend to stay with us. Um, and that's one way I feel that you can kind of heal a little bit of that that open wound, even though you can't actually change the past. Um, and then other than that, like just accepting the way things are outside of you, you only have control over what you do and how you react. It kind of comes back to that person telling, you know, forgetting to tell you, and it's a, just a silly example that your, you know, your outfit looked good because you were feeling it. And so you thought they should be feeling it, but they didn't say it, right? Um, you can't really control what they are doing, but you know that you freaking look good today. And so tell it to yourself because you can't control them. You can control how you feel and what you say. Um, and again, that's just kind of a small example, but uh, just, and then accepting the rhythm of life. I mean, accepting this journey, accepting, um, you know, the ups and downs that we've presented to you. And I also feel like accepting the lessons as they're presented because again, opportunities to choose to overcome some of these energies will be presented. Um, you can either choose to, shift the energy overcome it or to stay in that energy um it will be up to you but what you can do is control the outside uh, the outside circumstances so accepting them in a way heals that part of the energy all right let's get one more ownership all right you acknowledge your mistakes and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Ah, beautiful. This loving your, you know, loving what you present to the world. And I feel like loving, you know, sort of some of that inner shadow, some of that stuff that maybe you don't always want to show the world as well. Um, and when you have made mistakes in the past, you're forgiving yourself because you recognize that they in themselves served as lessons to you and that you learned from them. So you're taking ownership of the mistakes. You're not putting them off or blaming anyone else. You know, when you made, you know, you made a mistake mistake um take ownership of it like you know you made a mistake forgive yourself if you need to say sorry or make amends somewhere um go ahead and do it and of course you can't control what they do if they choose to forgive you or not it's not important it's about you um and then of course your accomplishments as well recognizing uh when you decide to choose uh like the high ground when you decide to choose to heal um, a trigger within you that that of a self-limiting belief or deep-rooted insecurity working to heal it by choice um, 
and also say, hey, you know what? You chose to react very, very kindly to yourself and to the other person. You chose to react with love. Um, good job, you know, giving yourself <laughs> a pat on the back for making those decisions um, and giving yourself a ton of self-love, even for your mistakes, because that self-love um, can go so far in bringing you into this position of personal power of the empress here. Um, the empress knows that she's not perfect, but she knows she's worthy of love. Let's get one of these for you. Art of Manifestation for group two. Now these readings are for, you know, any gender, but I have such a, I have, do have a very strong, like, feminine, a strong feminine energy here. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, and again, and you could be any gender and still have that that powerful feminine energy. It's the energy of creativity, of um, nurturing, you know, nurturing that creative side. It's feeding that that cre uh, creative, beautiful energy within you by following your passions, giving yourself the space to speak, um, giving yourself the space to, uh, you know, think and make your own decisions and make your own opinions. Here, it's just this powerful. Feminine energy of the Empress, which belongs to anyone who wants to encompass it. Shine. Absolutely. Oh, perfect. Perfect way to wrap this up here. The time is right for you to spread your wings and soar. You have something valuable to share. <laughs> I love this. You have something valuable to share, Group 2. Bring forth your greatest contribution. Step into your fullest potential. Show the world the real you. Reach out and shine. The universe supports your growth. Absolutely. 100%. Perfect card to wrap this up. We started with this shine. We're ending it with this shine because you are so worthy of this energy, Group 2. So I hope you found this helpful. If you're still with me, thank you so much. Give it a like if you would. It helps the channel very much. Otherwise, thank you so much. Much love. Bye. Welcome to your reading. All right, so I am, ooh, card popping out. Okay, Knight of Pentacles here. Um, I am using a new deck for this the card. Um, it's the Modern Witch Tarot, uh, one of my all-time favorite decks. So this is the first time I've used it, um, group one and two as well, but this pick a card is the first time I've used it since I've opened it, so. Very nice. Thank you for helping me break in a new deck. All right, there we go. Okay, wow. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And uh, these are shuffled. I did spend time shuffling and clearing the deck. Um, okay, I feel like I want one. Try to get one more. We'll see if one jumps. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So, group three. What we have here, a blessing coming in for you. And so it's like, I feel like there's something that maybe you've wanted to gain more knowledge on possibly, um, or have more opportunities on. And I feel like those opportunities, oh, yes, new knowledge, yes, coming in. Knowledge, knowledge, okay. I feel like opportunities are coming in for you to attain this knowledge. Um, I feel like you're becoming like, on your way to becoming like a creative master of something. Um, it's it's kind of weird because the reason this is going to be a blessing is because I kind of feel like you fell off your motive, either your motivation or your confidence or both. So I think you've had maybe something in mind or something that you've been drawn to or a creative endeavor. Um, you know, it may have been, for, I feel like for some, it's like kind of putting yourself on online, which is, in, in some way or performative in some way. So it may not be online. It may be some other aspect of performative. Um, it could be through art as well. It, when I say performative, it doesn't necessarily have to be you performing. It could be you 
writing, you know, something that you're putting out there into the world creative that, that people can experience. Maybe some art, maybe you're making soap, maybe you're, you know, creating jewelry, maybe you're creating stories, maybe you're, you're creating, um, pieces for people to, to learn more of themselves. Like, it's like maybe you're teaching. So it's like this very creative energy is what I'm getting. Um, and that could be in any, any way, but you've, I, it's, it's interesting because I feel like it's something that you've already, for many people, it's something you've already put energy into. And then it's like things happened, you've lost motivation or you've lost confidence. Um, and for some, you've even lost the position that you held, like in a job. Maybe you already had a job or maybe you already had opportunities that have come and gone. Um, but I'm telling you more opportunities are coming in. There's more growth coming in. So there's definitely more learning coming in. And I almost want to say it's like... <sighs> I almost want to say like you have to relearn something. There's something you've already known in the past. And for some, this could even be, if you want to get a little woo-woo with me, something like almost like you've done in a past life. And so that's why you're so drawn to it in this life is that it's like there may be a real pull towards this thing. It may be, for many, I feel like it's some performing thing. I feel like it's performing. Um, so it may even be like theater or dancing. Um, it's something... You know, I feel like you're really, when you're doing it or when you're thinking about it, or even if you're seeing somebody else doing this thing um, or experiencing somebody else's creative work in the same vein, it's like you feel alignment. You feel a pull. This is what you want. This is who you are. And because of that, it's like you've already done this before in a past life, or it's like you've already done aspects of this or had a lot of learning in this realm in this life. But because some things have happened or there's motivation lost, or it almost seems like there's out, you're out of practice or you have to relearn aspects of this. Um, now, the blessing coming in is the opportunities to relearn this and um, what you need to learn plus more and like literally come back from, this is like saying come back from the dead. So that again is telling me like, I, 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 this is again telling me like past life for some. It's like this is a energy that really pulls you, which makes a lot of sense because we're going into now. This is going to be a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this, the messages are relevant to you. This is shifts that you're going through. But when I'm filming this, we're going into September 2021, and it's like the energy of this month is transformative, big time. We're going. It's like it's truly re, like re aligning with things from the past. It's like a very past energy coming to present. And it's going to be in a lot you know, different in a lot of ways. But for many people, it's literally healing past issues. It's literally being presented with issues from the past, wounds from the past, energies from the past that are still affecting the present and future and being able to heal them in some way, deal with them, face them. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities um, presented in many different ways. And it may even just be popping into your head as like uh, persistent thoughts, maybe through songs, maybe through um, opportunities in different ways, like somebody calling you up and say, hey, there's this um, thing we're doing this dance for fun at this, you know, maybe at a elderly person's home or something. We just need a fifth person to make this work. Like, you know, that's a pretty obscure, weird one. But it, the point is there an opportunity comes in for you to somehow realign with this energy. And so it makes a lot of sense that this would have past life elements to it because there's so much energy of like past coming to present and like having to relearn. So there's almost like a beginner's position for a master it's like you're or you've already been somebody who's who knows so much about this but you, you do have to have beginning steps again in some way some form and then coming like for me to say coming back from the dead with this like this resurrection of this energy uh, past life or it's like something you were really on track to do in the past and you're realigning with that now if it's something that you kind of like gave up on or like maybe you were going to school for somebody that's a nurse like nursing um, okay, so like maybe you were going to school for nursing and then things happened. Maybe COVID happened. Um, you know, maybe things knocked you off track. Maybe somebody had a child. So maybe it was a child. Um, you know, things things came up and knocked you off your path. And maybe you've you've been fine with it even. Maybe it's like, yes, that's kind of like that was the, the track that I was on. And then things changed and I'm on this track. I feel like in the next month, there's going to be, if there's going to be like things that come up for you again, persistent thoughts or, you know, things coming up in 
on the radio, on TV, in the media. I'm within conversation with people, okay? Um, where it's like you're going to be reignited in some way. Like, you know what? That was something I was really passionate about. And I feel like I want to go back on that path. Maybe the maybe the timing is coming in to where you can get back on that path easily. So I feel like there's opportunities coming in to reignite this energy within you of something that you've been wanting to do or that you have done. And it's like it's it's like a life path for you. It's like a life passion for you. So it's a beautiful energy, very creative, very wonderful. And it's like more, there's more opportunities, more learning, and even possibly um, – more money coming in because of this. So it's like, if you've just, if it was simply that you were, you know, that you had a creative job or you had a job doing something that you loved, that you were, you were happy with and you lost that job because of outside circumstances or whatever circumstances, it doesn't matter. I feel like opportunities to have this job again in some way may be coming in too. So it's like coming back up, you know, resurrection, um, it's beautiful. It's a very lovely energy. Now, I feel like with this popping out, that maybe you might want to fight this thought or feeling within you. But I feel like if it's like a, a start out, if it's starting out as like a nudge or intuition, or maybe you feel like it's just not possible right now and you're kind of fighting it, then I feel like the universe is going to push even harder. And I feel like if there's opportunities coming up, take them. You know, if somebody says, hey, um, I had, you know, this art event that I was gonna go to. I have this ticket to an art event that I was gonna go to and you love art and you were studying art and then things changed and, and you're kind of like, no, oh, this is my life now. I don't wanna go back to that. You know, things have changed, I'm okay with it. But there's like this nudging from the universe and you're kind of fighting it. And then, it, you know, this opportunity comes in, somebody has a ticket to this amazing art show. They have an extra ticket now. Take the opportunity, take the ticket, go. You know, it's like, this is, there's opportunities coming in. There's going to be things coming up from the past coming in and you're going to be faced with these things and you have to, you know, not fight. I feel like there's just like not fighting it. This is alignment for you, right? There we go. The Empress sitting on her throne of abundance, having, you know, she's creative. She's a creator. She is a manifester. She's abundant. She has all her needs met. She has her emotional needs fulfilled, her financial needs fulfilled. Um, she's basking in her own abundance here um, and beauty, no matter what gender you are. So it's like you are fighting this alignment. Don't fight. It's like don't fight against the, what you're you know, what you know you want. It's so bizarre. Like, who would be fighting this? It's like, this is something that you know is meant for you, but yet you're somehow trying to talk yourself out of it. Like, it's not logical or something. It is logical. Maybe it doesn't seem fully logical right now, but it's your passion, so follow them. Um, and when there's opportunities, definitely take them. Okay, let's see what could be coming up as challenges, because this is blessings coming in. Every opportunity that comes in in the next month, it's a blessing. So it's like, take those opportunities, truly. Say yes. It's, I feel like you need to say yes to something or to multiple things. You may be feeling like, I feel like somebody's like too tired to go to some uh, to a social thing or, or an opportunity or like they just want to talk themselves out of it. Like, just go. I feel like I'm telling you now, like when this opportunity presents, and is going to present. Just go. And for some, okay, and then for somebody else, I feel like that there's an online avenue to whatever, um, you, you know, your passions were or are. Like maybe, like if you were going, you know, maybe it was even like a long time ago that this was something that you were going to school for. Or maybe, again, this is the first time coming into this, but you know it's like a path for you. Maybe you've done it in the past life. So I feel like... Um, in the past, possibly, there wasn't an opportunity to be able to do this online, but now there's opportunities to be able to do the, you know, learning and fit it into your lifestyle online. So it's like, I feel like you need to seek that out if that's something that could be a possibility for you. Um, seek out the online classes, but if, you know, I still even feel like even if you don't, that there's going to be opportunities presented. I think it could just be the universe trying to nudge you to seek it out. So... Um, yeah, beautiful. 
We have sunflowers here as well, so um, that might mean something to somebody. Sunflowers might be a favorite uh, flower of yours. Somebody you care about might have loved that perfume, Sunflowers, by Elizabeth Arden. Um, um, you may love that song, Sunflower, by uh, Post Malone. I feel like that's a sign for somebody. This is for you. And um, to please start listening to your intuitive nudges. Listen to the universe. That the universe is trying to tell you that there's something that's meant for you. And to not try and talk yourself out of what's meant for you. Okay. Eight of Wands. Six of Cups. There's that pass. Woo! Okay, so interestingly, I'm gonna get one more card because what's the challenge? So there's multiple things, like this is the challenge here and there's kind of like multiple things going on because I feel like this is like very positive energy overall. Okay, so I feel like that there were times maybe even, so there's the negative aspect of this was that in the past, there were times where you were kind of like when you were proud of something that you said said or did or created or drew or whatever. It was like you were proud of it. So maybe you were saying, look at I'm I'm an artist or I can do this. Look at I'm amazing. So maybe you said that you were good. You were acknowledging it to yourself and to others. Look at this. I I'm fantastic, which is very cute, but like also like you we're just acknowledging it and excited and you said it, but then I feel like somebody around you maybe was like, don't say, don't brag, you're bragging. So it was like you were shamed for saying that you're proud of yourself. And I feel like that energy has stuck with you. So you feel like a challenge here is, is um, this has been a challenge for every group. Uh, the self-limiting beliefs planted, these seeds of self-limiting beliefs planted from in the past somehow and for you i feel like it was like somebody was telling you don't you know flaunt your feathers don't brag about yourself it's 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 not uh you know it's not nice it's not it's not cute or whatever and um, when actually you were just acknowledging what you created and that's totally fine. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you were excited that you may put something out here and you were proud. And so you were acknowledging it. But the feedback was like, don't brag. And so now you feel like you can't acknowledge these things that you accomplish in yourself. You can't acknowledge what's great um, about yourself. Or you feel like it's arrogant. You feel like it's conceited. You feel like it's too much ego. You feel like, you know, you can't do these things. You can't look at yourself in this way. Don't, you know, don't brag to yourself. Don't congratulate yourself. Well, this is the challenge. This is a challenge because you actually need to be able to acknowledge your strengths, um, to have the confidence to present your strengths. So it's like being, you know, and it's like, don't be showing all your weaknesses. I feel like you feel like you have to be humble or show that you're humble, um, which of course, you know, we'll need to be humbled here and there in our lives to some degree. But um, in this case, it's like, you feel like you need to present as humble. Um, and it's like, by doing that, it's like you almost want to recognize your strengths I mean, your weakness is more than your strength. It's like, oops, I'm so, you know, um, I'm so forgetful. You know, I always forget things. So it's like you're saying that when you should have said, um, you know, look, I did all, you know, I did all these things. Um, and not really, you know, if you need to say you forgot an element of it, then say it. You know, like you, I, for some reason, I'm at a restaurant now. So I feel like somebody is probably a server or something. And like they forgot the drinks, but they had brought, you know, made this dessert plate so beautiful. And before they presented it. So it's like you presented this dessert plate. And instead of being excited for the guests, you're like, I have always, I'm sorry, I forgot the drinks. Like you keep remember, like apologizing for, apologizing for the drinks instead of being like, look at this here you go, and like basking in the beautiful dessert with everybody. It's a kind of a silly example, but I kind of feel like what, you know, the message in that is quit highlighting the weaknesses. You already gave a sorry for the drinks. Do give your sorry, say, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot your drinks. Let me grab that for you. You put the drink down. And of course, this is an analogy for <laughs> many things, but, and then showcase your strengths. You made this dessert plate look fantastic because you're creative, you know? And so you, present this and everyone's in awe and you're allowing everyone to be in awe like wow that looks amazing instead of saying 
here and also I'm sorry about again about those drinks like <laughs> so it's like quit uh, highlighting weaknesses it's okay to show you like showcase your strengths it's okay to brag a little bit it's okay to tell people what you're good at um you know it's not when it's ego it ego tends to be First of all, our ego is meant to protect us from doing silly things and putting ourselves in ridiculous positions, um, you know, and in bare, you know, humiliating ourselves. It's, it's meant to kind of be a self-awareness check and, you know, a self-awareness meter. So our ego is important. It's okay to have an ego. So when someone's ego is inflated, it's because they are insecure. So they start like saying, you know, trying to present you know, some kind of false mask or um, a very superficial confidence. But when you're really confident in your strengths, then you're really presenting to the world um, something valuable. These are your strengths and you want to show people what your strengths are. Um, and that's confidence. Your real strengths are important. But how can you know what your real strengths are if you're afraid to congratulate yourself or you're, if you're afraid to highlight your own strengths? You have to be able to look at yourself and be proud. It's okay. <laughs> it's like, um, so anyway, I feel like this is, I'm kind of going on too long with this, but I feel like this is something that was implanted in you, very, very implanted in you. I don't like it. That was, you know, put that little worm was put in your head <laughs> at a young age where you have to be humble. You have to present as humble. You can't brag, you know. And so because of that, it, you know, that energy stays with you and you rather showcase your weaknesses rather than your strengths, which you have both. We all have both. So showcase your strengths because that's what's going to get you ahead. That's what's going to, the more you can acknowledge your strengths and showcase them and grow them, the stronger you become, the more valuable what you have um, becomes and you, you continue to grow and, and, you know, those strengths become more and more desirable to everyone else. And so, yeah, I, I, that's the challenge. Quit trying to be so humble <laughs> it sounds funny because i feel like we are all taught in this way like we're all taught to be humble don't be arrogant i'm not talking about being arrogant here i'm talking about be genuinely proud of the good things that you present be genuinely proud of your strengths and be willing to share your strengths and by doing so people will see them and that will get you further on your path um, that will put you more in alignment with what you're passionate about. All right. Anything else from... Actually, I want to switch the deck here. Let's see. But I would like some cards from the universe. Anything else from the universe here? I mean, technically, they're all from the universe. But let's just see what comes up for you, group three. Anything else? So, blessings coming in. More opportunities to align you with what you are passionate about um, and you being able to showcase your beautiful strengths, what you are bringing into the world and you being able to turn this into a lucrative thing as well if that's something you'd like to do. It's like there's both. There's, there's the learning, there's the knowledge, there's the experiences, there's the opportunities, and there's money as well. So beautiful opportunities, beautiful blessings coming in for you. Just don't try to shrink yourself. Get, you know, highlight yourself in the world. It's okay to show what you got going on and what you're proud of. Okay, strengths. I mean, this is strength. There's logic and justice. Okay. So we have strength here, courage, endurance, and again, I reiterate courage to share your strengths, highlight them. We have the king of feathers, so this is logic, this is justice, um, this is attaining more knowledge. Um, I feel like, again, there is there is an energy here of needing to gain more knowledge in, in the things that you are interested in or what your your goals are so i feel like although you're a master in many ways i feel like this is something you feel in your heart and so whether or not you've had a lot of experience in this realm or this is something that's just been pulling you or it may even be that you don't know what direction you're going yet but you soon will you will have at least some part of you has to have some sort of a beginner's mindset in that you are learning a lot. And because of that, you really truly do step into the position of a master of what you're doing. Um, you're also very naturally creative. And so because of that, it's like you're able to problem solve around, you know, in this realm as well. Um, 
by using, you will be able to like think outside the box um, in that way. Because we also have this logic, this justice with this king of feathers. Now this is the king of swords. So this would be, in, you know, air sign energy as well. So you may be an air sign or you may be dealing with an air sign. But again, I feel like this is, this, you know, more and more information coming to you. This is wisdom coming in for you. This is you gaining more um, understanding and more learning coming in and in doing so you become this master of your craft and because of that it's like you're back up in your game you're making the money more opportunities are coming in uh, what you're putting out there is very desirable and you soon become this empress sitting on her throne of abundance so um, very very beautiful energy here um, also air sign would be Libra uh, Aquarius or Gemini um, who else do we have on the board we have this Queen of Wands, of course, so that would be Fire. That would be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Let's see, and we have Empress. That would be Libra or Taurus. Anything else? All right, the Hermit, the wisdom coming in. Um, this is the knowledge and the attainment. This is like sort of a light in the dark type of knowledge. So I almost feel like this is epiphanies. So yes, there's more learning um, in some way that's coming in for you, opportunities for growth, for learning. But I also feel like there's almost like downloads of wisdom and knowledge coming in for you, more awareness coming in for you because you're open to receive it, because you know that you are in a position to learn, to gain, and you are opening yourself up to more awareness and understanding. And because of that, more comes in. Again, we also have this 10 of, air, of acorns, that's 10 of wands. This is responsibility, this is dedication. So this is that creative fire energy driving you forward. So beautiful. When you feel that drive, um, put it to good use. If you're not sure what direction to go in um, it's like try and get in touch with your intuition I feel like there's a drive kind of building within you you want to do something here with this energy and it's a creative energy so it's like what do you want to put out into the world you know um, what energy do you want to step into what alignment do you want to step into and um, when you think of life path for you what's meant for you so again I feel like you may already know this you may already have a very strong feeling of what you know you're passionate about, but if not, there's opportunities to gain that knowledge coming in for you as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a couple oracle cards for you and then I'll close it out. Um, I love this energy for you, group three, beautiful. Um, I got one more message from this here, a challenge um, as well. And the other side of that too, because I feel like there was more than one message coming through. Um, but I'll just briefly say, I also feel like there are people who are supporting you or who encourage you or who tell you good things. And it's important for you to believe that. Um, you are worthy of hearing it from other people. So I feel like if somebody's telling you, um, we, we touched on people telling you to be humble in some way. Well, I also feel like there are people around you, maybe friends, family, who, who, want, who say, wow, you're good at that, or, you know, you're funny, or tell you some kind words, and they mean it. They're being serious, and I feel like it's important for you to believe that. I feel like there's, there's this element where you're like, no, no, no. Instead of arguing, say thank you. Say, wow, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And then actually let it mean a lot to you. Say, wow, you know what? I am pretty funny. I, I love that about me. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be cocky. It can be like, I can be funny sometimes. That's very cool. I love that, you know? So it's like, and have gratitude for that energy. Have gratitude to these, to whoever might say a nice compliment to you and have gratitude for um, the energy of, of receiving a nice compliment, receiving feedback, positive feedback about you. It's beautiful. So enjoy it. You know, um, you're worthy of that kind of love and you're, you're worthy of that kind of attention. So accept it. So I'm sure that's meant for somebody out there. Multiple people actually, um, accept compliments. They mean it. Respect transformation yes okay let's talk about the respect briefly um you value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love so beautiful you are valuing when somebody tells you that beautiful compliment or tells you gives you a piece of encouragement or maybe a piece of motivation and you just give gratitude back don't argue you know um say thank wow thank you and and kind of try to mean it you know try to have gratitude because you are worthy of hearing nice things about you you're worthy of 
positive feedback about what you're putting out there. And then transformation, this energy I'm loving. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Yes, more awareness. A blessing coming in for you is transforming any negative self-limiting beliefs into positive awareness, becoming aware of your strengths. Truly saying, wow, I am worthy of this. I'm worthy of this Empress energy. I'm worthy of following a path that brings me joy and happiness and abundance. And, you know, stepping into that path of awareness and intuitive awareness as well. So it's a beautiful transformative energy, as I already said, coming in this next month for everybody, but especially for you in group three. So I love that. Um, let's see. Let's get one Art of Manifestation card for you. Okay, you have to love it. Like, unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Um, by the way, this is the number three, and the Empress is card number three, Major Arcana here. Um, be your brilliant self. Be this Empress. Doesn't matter what your gender is, you know? Um, you are amazing and you're worthy of this love. Be great today, be brilliant. This card asks you to get in touch with the extraordinariness of everyday living. Go about your daily life doing everything to the very best of your ability. That is your strength, bringing your strengths into the world, whatever they may be. Be extraordinary in an ordinary way. Your brilliance will radiate into the world, creating more change than you can possibly imagine. You are bringing your strengths forward. You're acknowledging the energy within you, however big, however small. Um, by acknowledging your strengths, you're able to put it better forward into the world, creating this change, um, again, in more ways than you can possibly even imagine. So beautiful energy for you, Group 3. Um, I love that you're group three as well. So we have a couple of threes here just validating that energy for you. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this um, a like. That helps my channel a lot. Otherwise, so much love to you. Bye. Welcome to the mini pick a card at the end of the big pick a card. Um, so if you felt drawn to come to this uh, little pick a card at the end, I'm just going to pull a few oracle cards. Um, it doesn't matter what you picked for the first groups. Pick whatever number you're drawn to now. And if you're drawn to more than one group, that's totally fine. So this is a little bit, you know, this is separate from those first three groups. Um, so what I'm going to do is get an animal card for each group. And then I'm going to just pop a few of these blessing cards, um, really to try and call some blessings in for you. So go ahead and decide what group you want while I pull the cards. Okay, now for group two. And I will read out of the book for these animal cards. Two, and then one more, group three. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just pop these cards after I read each group, or you know, within each group so that I can use all the cards for each group. Okay. Let's go ahead and see group one. You, you got the dragon. Nice. Oh, that's a big energy. All right. Group one with the dragon. Love it. Okay. Seeing one's most true self. Balancing the ego. Wow. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world, world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, 
visionary and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even get a glimpse of the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We ride the dragon, I'm sorry, we not ride the dragon, we let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back for a ride. Okay, we do ride the dragon. <laughs> And as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their agni is dim. Agni is described as that inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. It's that fire, that creative drive within you. Um, it's representing the third chakra. The subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the Manipura Shaka. Chakra. Manipura translates into the city of hidden gems, and behind its gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestion. The sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to, to clearly see both the inner and outer dimensions. Um, beautiful. So I'm going to actually put this piece of carnelian here as well, just to kind of help aid in that creative um you know, igniting that fire within you, group one, um, preparing you for this transformation energy. Fabulous. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these. All right. For group one, water, work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. I feel too, like, um, just really quickly, I feel like you might need to be drinking some water um, with this, like, you know, especially with this creative, like, heat and this energy within you, um, in this transformative energy. It's almost like you need to balance out with, like, some cool water. You may be a little bit dehydrated, so it's like, be sure to be drinking water. And I almost feel like, um, too, as well, like, when you drink this water, um, like, I feel like, saying an intention when you drink it can kind of just um, help a little bit with like manifesting. So maybe in the morning you get a big glass of water and say, today I'm going to feel focused. Today I'm going to get a lot done. Today I'm going to, um, you know, reach the end of my day feeling satisfied. Today the sun's going to shine. Today I'm going to feel healthy and vibrant. So it's like just saying some affirmations before you drink your water. Um, I could, could probably serve you very well, group one. Okay, what else? aren't popping that well a safe and happy travel so if you are going to be traveling soon um, we have just a little blessing of safety on your travels um, still want to buckle your seatbelt of course and then we have protection so again doubling down on this um, protection for the family protection uh, magic for the family and the home so beautiful protection for when you're traveling and protection for your family and home I love that for you group one all right, we got two more. The star. The silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. So, you know, signs lining up for you, um, you know, coincidences that help serve you on your path. Beautiful. And then the philosopher's stone. Powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. That's the power of the dragon. That's that creative fire manifestation here um, along with this beautiful carnelian i love it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pull these in thank you for joining me today group one um you know sending you so much love on your travels if you are traveling and oh look one more abracadabra with wings fantastic good fortune and lucky chances um very similar to the serendipity for you all right much love to you all right let's see group two Butterfly, love it. All right. Undergoing great change and transformation. I have to say, like, these are kind of lining up with the actual one, two, and three, but um, I feel like transformation is, is with 
so many of us in the next month, especially, there's just a lot of energy to support big shifts, letting go of past energies and healing old wounds. It's like a huge um, energy that I feel like is going to help transform us on our path this next month. All right, butterfly undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships, or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Or your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon, committing to one daily routine, like a meal, a practice, or prayer, done at the same time, and place every day will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. So when in balance, the butterfly is cheerful and graceful. And when out of balance, feeling fragile and frustrated to bring back into balance some sort of a daily routine, even if it's um, like similar to group one. Group one, I feel like you group one needed to like drink a glass of cool, refreshing water each morning um, while saying or thinking of, uh, thinking of intentions for the day. Um, something very similar to that can serve you as sort of just a small ritual each day that sort of is almost a trigger to recenter, you know, um, that will help to bring in more balance for you as you're going through transformations and shifts in your life. All right, so next we're gonna do for you some of these little blessing cards. They're little magic blessing cards. All right, for group two, what do we have? What do we have coming in for group two? Okay. So, we have perseverance, the motivation to keep going despite the odds. So if your energy and motivation is waxing and waning, I feel like, you know, just ask for a little extra burst of motivation. It might be even what you're doing when you're drinking that like water, that intention water. Just, you know, say this water is helping to refresh my mind and body so that I can give a little bit more today to what my goals are um, and persevere. We have successful career, a happy working environment, pay raises and promotions because of that perseverance most likely, but also don't forget to keep a balanced um, lifestyle as much as you can and make sure you're giving to your own passions and dreams and not just the workplace as much as you can. I know that's that's kind of a hard balance to to keep. Um, and then we have love charm, attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. Beautiful. Um, so if you are, you know, single or wanting to attract a partner, um, this is just a little love charm. So take a look at these little sigils here, these little magic symbols, and call it in. <laughs> Let this symbol work for you. Um, so attracting a lover, a soulmate, or partner. All right. Claim this energy group too. And then we have air. Oh, and if you're already in a, in a partnership, why not use this energy to attract a romantic evening, attract some, you know, romantic times together, or attract some alignment where you're feeling um, very, very much of a strong partnership. All right. And then air. Work with the element of air to cut through the core of a situation and see the truth. Um, a lot of times, it's just really not letting yourself... Uh, delude yourself. You know, sometimes when we want to, you know, see a truth, we often don't want to see a truth. And so we choose not to look at signs or we choose not to see what's right in front of us. Um, have the courage uh, to go ahead and see things um, as they really are. And then we have time to shine creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. Beautiful. So those are just some little blessings to call in for you. Claim those blessings group too. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you like the readings today. So much love to you. All right. Okay. Group three. The crow. Ooh, ooh. I love the crow very much. All right, group three. Nice, beautiful. All right, the crow. Spiritually strong, creative, and watchful, the crow has long been a symbol of magic. A crow personality is drawn to the supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown. It is said that the crow holds within its mind's eye three realities, the past, the present, and the future. Crow energy is potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear. Those with crow tendencies must balance their lives with a healthy diet, joyful friends, and regular self-study. And I feel like 
one reason for that um, that last sentiment where crow tendencies must be bound, you know, must balance their lives is I feel like if you're intuitive, if you're able to have, you know, this extra awareness um, of energies around you, or maybe you're not fully aware of it, but like the energies are affecting you, it's important for you to protect your own body, be extra healthy, um, you know, try to lower stress as much as, as much as you can, because you really need to be resilient about, you know, protecting your energy, giving yourself lots of times to recharge and rest and upholding boundaries when you need to. Because um, if you're empathic like this, people can sometimes pick up on that. And, you know, you could kind of almost be taken advantage of. Not that other people may have ill intent to take advantage of you, but I feel like it can naturally happen. Um, you can naturally drain easily because um, you're picking up other energies and, you know, uh, others may be kind of sucking away, <laughs> pulling your energy, draining you. So it's important to stay balanced, eat very healthy, get lots of sleep, and take lots of times to yourself to recharge. Um, to bring back into balance, oh, I'm sorry, let me start over. When in balance, psychic, strong, and clear. Yes. When out of balance, ungrounded and hypersensitive. So if you're feeling hypersensitive, I feel like a lot of that could be emotions that don't even belong to you. Um, so to bring back into Balance, daily meditation practice, even if it's just a couple minutes, five minutes uh, can do wonders. If it's just five minutes where you sit, maybe just visualize, um, maybe just visualize a bright light or visualize like a burning sun in your mind's eye. Just watch that for five minutes. And basically all that's doing is sort of giving you a place to put your uh, your consciousness, like your main conscious mind is looking at that and it's sort of giving your your mind a chance to let whatever else bubbles up come up so maybe some thoughts that you didn't know were in there maybe some feelings and energies that you weren't fully aware of finally have the space to kind of come out come up to the surface instead of being crowded in there or maybe outside messages are able to come in and it's just a way to recenter and give um almost give your consciousness a shift right so it's like giving yourself a chance to shift into more grounded energy um with even five minutes i'm telling you just like a short i know it's hard to keep a daily meditation when you're busy but short ones work amazing short ones are great um it's more important i feel to do short meditations more often than like one big long one every couple of months or something whenever you get around to it so you know if you can fit in even two minutes um once a day it's going to serve you so much better than holding out for some day when you can finally sit down for an hour um, i hope that makes sense all right uh, especially if you are having these intuitive psychic tendencies you really need to Protect yourself and give yourself lots of time for clarity. You know, sorting through what's yours and what's not yours. Okay, blessings for group three. What blessings are we calling in for group three here? That's trying to come out. There we go. Power symbol. Okay, exactly what I just was saying. Um, cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body cleansing purifying and protecting so it's like healthy body eating healthy giving yourself time to rest um and then this even saying cleanse you know even in, when you're in the shower and you're kind of like washing your body or you know your 3d earthly <laughs> self you can also kind of use the time to give the intention that you're also clearing away maybe energies um that don't belong to you you know uh you know i'm clearing away what does you know energies and situations and things that do not belong to me and that are not serving me so it's sort of like maybe you picked up you know you went and saw your best friend who's got a lot of emotional stuff going on and of course you have empathy for your best friend but you sort of bring that back with you and carry it around so you're just kind of you know giving out the intention that as you wash your body you're also washing away those energies that do not belong to you all right Sun, the golden energy of sun brings fame and fortune. So if you are trying to present something into the world, if you are presenting your creative, um, you know, endeavors or whatever you've been writing, painting, even if it's just like posts on lot me social media that you're proud of or that you feel like you want to share, it's like you will have this energy of fame and fortune with you. So beautiful blessing to have. I'm playing music for some. I feel like music is very important to some. Um, 
time to shine as well. So we have spirit, heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. Perfectly aligns up with this crow energy group three. Um, and then time to shine creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities to shine and present what you have to bring in this fame and fortune. I mean, it's like um, this energy, I mean, you know, fame and fortune um, can come about in so many different ways. It could even just be able, you know, being able to share what you love with the world as your career, you know, and being recognized for that. Um, all right. Happy love, a joyful, stable partnership and good friends. So the energy here of beautiful friendships, beautiful partnerships, and even romantic love. So take a look at the symbols, group three. And that is it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini pick a card at the end. Um, thanks again for being here. So much love to you. See you next time.